Huawei, the largest Chinese technology giant with an annual revenue of more than $120 billion, has said that its survival is at stake after USA's semiconductor export restrictions on the company. Guo Ping, rotating chairman at Huawei's annual analyst conference, said, We will now work hard to figure out how to survive. Survival is the key word for us now. Indeed, Huawei has only 12 months left to save itself from this final onslaught by the USA. If you thought that Donald Trump has exhausted all his options to destroy China's 5G leader, you're in for an ingenious new surprise. In a move aimed at China, the US has released new guidelines regarding the export of semiconductors, the most essential part of any consumer electronics and technology equipment. As per new guidelines, any foreign company which seeks to export semiconductors based on secret American design has to apply for a license from the US Department of Commerce, which in the case of Huawei, the US Department is most likely to deny. In fact, the US Commerce Secretary explicitly said that the department will narrowly and strategically target Huawei's acquisition of semiconductors. Given the fact that semiconductors are the most essential device for any consumer electronics or telecommunication device, the ban would essentially result in the collapse of Huawei's operations. Rattled by this move, Huawei has said in a statement, this new rule will impact the expansion, maintenance, and continuous operations of networks worth hundreds of billions of dollars that we have rolled out in more than 170 countries. In May last year, the US put a ban on American technology export to Huawei by its companies. But many countries in East Asia like Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea manufacture consumer electronics essentials using American technology. Therefore, it was easy for Huawei to game the US export ban and import these products from other East Asian countries. But with the new rules in place, even these countries will not be able to supply equipments to the Chinese giant. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, a Taiwanese company that manufactures semiconductors based on Secret of American design, announced that the company would not take any new orders from Huawei. Huawei is the second largest customer accounting for 14% of the total orders to the Taiwanese company, which manufactures semiconductors for all top consumer electronics of the world, including Apple. Therefore, the ban is bound to hurt TSMC's business, but they would have to follow American rules as they use secretive American technology to design chips. The semiconductor, popularly known as the chip, it's very essential in manufacturing any modern electronic equipment ranging from smartphones to refrigerators and with the ban on access to it, Huawei would go nowhere in the global technology race. Huawei said in a statement, To attack a leading company from another country, the US government has intentionally turned its back on the interest of Huawei's customers and consumers. This goes against the US government's claim that it is motivated by network security. A few years ago, Huawei was aiming to become a global technology giant with a contract to roll out 5G infrastructure in all major European countries, but with anger towards China after the coronavirus pandemic and the latest American ban, none of this would be possible. The Chinese government used all its might to make sure that Huawei gets 5G network rollout contracts in countries around the world, including India, but all US needed is to ban the export of semiconductors in order to ruin the CCP's ambitions. Huawei's chair also said that America is doing this to protect its technology supremacy and trying to crush competition because his company is taking the lead in global tech innovation. Any other country or company with more advanced technologies may put the US supremacy at risk. Most Chinese technology companies are mere copycats of their American counterparts as they rely strongly on theft of intellectual property. For example, if you notice, China has a Baidu search engine modeled after Google. Alibaba is modeled after Amazon. Tencent is modeled after Facebook and so on and so forth. Obviously, this is just the tip of the iceberg. These companies are dependent on American giants in one way or the other for software innovations or hardware equipments, 
and will not survive for long without American support. Therefore, once America pulls out and puts a ban on the use of equipments and services developed by American companies, the Chinese technology industry would collapse like a house of cards. A technology war has started between the USA and China, as rightly argued by Global Times, the mouthpiece of the Chinese Communist Party, a technology war has started between the USA and China, but with all consumer electronics and technology giants like Taiwan, South Korea and Japan on Donald Trump's side, it is not hard to predict who will win this war.